All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We will be simulating Celtics versus the Bucks, the first game of this series of games in this episode. But first, I want to tell you what's going to be going on in this episode. This will be the simulation period. Next, we are going to have the topic video against the Milwaukee Bucks, and that is going to cover what is the better playoff structure. Is it 2-3-2 two, two, or 2-2-1-1-1? Two, two, one, one, one? That's going to be the topic. And then, of course, when we face the Denver Nuggets, that is going to be just the video and just the gameplay. And they're doing pretty good. So that'll be exciting. Now, let's cut to the chase. Let's simulate this game here. All right, let's just go straight to end of quarter. All right, so we're up by two. Oh, we're up by nine. Sweet. We're up by 13 points, and let's just start it going. I think we're in a we're a pretty comfortable position here. Rondo, four points, four rebounds, four assists. Wow, triple threat. Bradley, 10 points, two rebounds, two assists. Green, 13 points. Wow. Bass with eight points and four rebounds. Five rebounds for Olenek. Pretty assisting game here. That's pretty cool. All right, about halfway through the fourth quarter, and they are... Only down by nine. There's definitely an opportunity for them to catch up. I'm not quite sure they will, though. Hmm. All right, let's look at some of the other players. They have Brandon Knight with two points, one rebound, three assists. Not a very good night for him. Walters for two points. Energy, 100. This must be their starting five in the game right now. OJ Mayo, 15 points, three rebounds. Uh, Delfino, nine points, two rebounds. And I believe we didn't get Smith. Three points, one assist. Yeah, they don't have a very good statistical team right now. Ooh, two minutes to go. And they're only down by six. Timeout Celtics going to retake the morale from these Milwaukee Bucks. We're still up by six. All right, we're up by eight. Makes me feel better. Come on, any point will do. Any point will do. I feel, I feel confident. I think we want it. 60-51 right now. Game over, 60-51. Let's go ahead and look at some of these stats that happened in this game here. Obviously, when we have a game against the Bucks again in a couple of days, that is going to be a good game for us because I have done a drill, so that'll be good. I was, pro I was previously going to simulate the first one, but I decided to simulate this one just to get the opening up for you. Let's see here. Not our team. <laughs> Green had the best night with 5 of 8. 7 of 7 free throws. That's where he got most of his points from. That, that's interesting. He got fouled quite a bit. Uh, Bradley, let's see. We did pretty good on our free throws. Not seeing anything really notable here. Uh, 4 points and 5 rebounds for Humphreys. That's a little more than he usually does. That's interesting. Wallace, a pretty okay night. You know, one steal. Not a whole lot of steals from us this game. I guess we didn't need him. We were accurate enough that we didn't need him. Ooh, Fredette did not have a good game. He only played three minutes, but he got two turnovers. All right, well, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about the topic of the episode. Now, this episode is going to be quite short because of the upcoming Batman game coming out. I must get many things ready uh, for the re release of this Batman game. So these are going to be edited quite short and short discussion, short simulation segment, short topic segment, short everything. So a little bit of a short week and um, I'm hoping to get a 500 subscriber special up as well. So a lot to be done and that is why they are so short. Anywho, let's move on to the topic at hand. Right now we're talking about which is better, the 2-2-1-1-1 two, two, one, one, one system of the playoffs or the 2-3 one one system right is that how it goes two three one two three two one i don't know how that works um to me and i'm just i'm gonna say this right now i like the one that starts out with two games at home you get to go first at your home crowd you get to win if you win two then you go there for three times and if you win just one of those all you have to do is win at, at there i think it gives you an advantage I think I like that one better because, especially if, if it's, say, Miami Heat versus the Utah Jazz, and the Miami Heat have won more 
uh, regular season games than the Utah Jazz. I think it's only fair that the Miami Heat get a slight advantage of home and away than the Jazz do. So the Miami Heat should have more games at home quicker, sooner, than the Utah Jazz. The Utah Jazz should have to fight an uphill battle. That's just my take on it. Um, doing the 2-2-1-1-1 two, two, system, I feel, is too fair. I feel like it's just too even. It's too, I, and I guess I guess the 2-2-1-1-1 two, two, one, one, one system is good for TV because they're most likely going to trade off 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. It's going to cost more traveling plans. It's going to bump up ratings for your TV show, for your TV networks. And it's going to confuse the hell out of a lot of people. So that's just my take on it you know a lot of greedy people want that and i i just i just like the two three two system and uh well that's my take on that so let me know what you think below this game we almost had a comeback uh it all depended on this free throw yeah didn't happen didn't happen ladies and gentlemen we are headed in to the next video here thank you for watching once again i'm going to remind you to like this video thank you all right, ladies and gentlemen, and here we go, the final portion of this association mode. I know it's a short episode. Bear with me. I am waiting anxiously for the Batman game, and here we go, starting off the game, trying to get a good turnover, and we do the Boston Celtics quickly taking a first and ferocious lead, trying to recover from that embarrassment of a Milwaukee loss. 35 inches. Rondo very, very leapable in this game. He is a, he's a damn jackrabbit. All right, middle of the first quarter. Still a pretty close game at this point. Green misses it. Denver looking to fast break it here. Three Boston Celtics. No problem for Kenneth Fareed, the monster, the predator. Kenneth Fareed, just a dominant force, and so are all of the layups. You think Lob City is in L.A.? Uh-uh. Lob City is in Denver. Mile high. 20-19 to 19 to end the first quarter. Going to green for three points. A good screen there by Ollie. Going down to Ollie. Rainbow shot sinks and connects. What a wonderful shot. And at halftime, it would be 31-33. Boston down by two. Going for the shot. Again, we miss it. But look at that. Great fast hands. Goes for an easy turnover score there. Goes to Bogan's last second shot in the third quarter. Sinks it. The end of three quarters. Boston down by four. Denver up by four. Doing really well once again at these lob plays. But we did miss. They did miss one of them. And we got the rebound. How is it going to turn out for him? Green. Look at the dunk. Look at the nasty dunk. Misdirection. Right there. Boom. Look at that. The misdirection. Oh, man. Going all the way down the court. Rondo. A very close play here. It's going to be a very, very close game. But the Boston Celtics just couldn't hold on. We lost by like one point. It's really irritating shit. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I want you to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Remember what the topic was, and we will see you for the next episode.